Woody Womack and Mike Farrell here in New York City talking signing day. And boy, one of the stars of signing day, Gary Furman from canesport.com on Miami side. Gary, you were the talk of the internet this morning as you were out there at uh, Jaden Francois's uh, announcement, your live stream, everybody. You had, you had almost 10,000 viewers. What was it like out there? Give, kind of set the scene for what you were going through. I, th I think we, um, we ended up with about 45,000, <laughs> to be honest Jeez. with you. Uh, yeah, it, it was pretty ridiculous. Um, it, it went on, it was, the signing ceremony was called for 9 o'clock, and Jaden Francois sits down at the table with all his teammates, and he's got a Miami hat in front of him, and they're just sitting there. They were waiting for one of the other kids' moms to, like, you know, 9.30 or something. And then after about a half an hour, he just walks out of the room. And, and, and you know, he was on his phone, um, I, you know, play acting that he was all frazzled and rubbing his hair. And, and his family was around him. And his dad asked that we please get the cameras away from him. <laughs> and and he, he walked out of the gym and went out into a, a corridor for about 20 minutes, um, then disappeared altogether, finally came back and walked out again. So, you know, this drama went on for easily. I mean, I, I've, never, I, I've never felt so sore from holding a selfie stick for, for, such a long, for such a long period of time, but it went on for well over an hour. And um, when he finally got around to coming back and it, it came to be his turn in the signing ceremony, which, by the way, they had the, the entire school in the gym during all this. <laughs> uh, you know, the, the kids, I, I'm totally convinced it was a ploy for all the kids to get to this class for an hour. <laughs> but, but, you know, so the whole school sitting in the gym waiting for him to get his act together and his, his teammates are sitting at the table waiting to do their, their announcement of where they're going. Well, they finally get around to it and he takes the microphone and uh, basically takes the Miami hat that's in front of him and, you know, dumps it to the side and unzips his jacket where he's wearing a Nebraska sweatshirt. Um, and then, of course, his whole family did the same thing. They took their clothes off and all had Nebraska <laughs> clothes on. And, you know, the thing that strikes me about this, guys, is that, you know, when is Miami going to realize that when you have a Miami kid who has been committed to you twice, and, and decommitted from you twice, who lives 30 minutes from campus, um, is sitting in a Miami high school, and basically, like, making a joke at your expense. And, and you know, what I'm waiting to see is this program figure out that they have some serious issues that they need to work on and that they better get serious about solving them if they ever you know, want to be competitive in football again because – uh, we've watched this now for three, four, five years, um, and they're, they're, they're getting trolled by the kids in their own city, and uh, it, it's going to obviously end. And, um, you know, today's class was not a disaster by any stretch of the imagination, uh, but did, did they make up ground on Clemson today? Uh, I'm not sure they did. Do, do you think this was staged? I mean, do you think this was all planned out? It, it had to be. Um, Were there tears? Did you see tears? Because I heard tears. Well, the mom, the, the mom of um, Keyshawn Washington was had some tears. <laughs> we, you know, we were we were filling airtime <laughs> during this whole fiasco. Yeah, yeah. So we went in. So I went to interview um, Keyshawn Washington's mom, and she starts that. She's like, "I'm so proud of him," and then breaks down. Like, couldn't even continue the interview. Um, so yeah, it just added to the absolute high quality of the uh, the live stream that we were putting out this morning. But. But, you know, the, the, the thing is this. It's, it's, it's like, you know, like I said, they, they didn't make any, up any ground on Clemson today. And, and Miami's got to get back to what can we do to make up ground on Clemson? Because Miami can't win a darn thing ever again in football until they can line up toe-to-toe -to -toe with Clemson. And that starts with if a kid commits to you and once and then he commits twice and decommits again, why are you still recruiting him? You know, why are we – out at South State High School this morning to, to, to watch this fiasco when the kid had already, you know, dissed them twice. I mean, you know, it's just, it's just, it's just not very good program operations, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah, we heard. I mean, there were rumors that Clemson kind of moved on from Justin Flo because they didn't want to wait. Uh, they didn't want to wait when they, they moved on Trenton Simpson. So you're talking about the number four player in the country 
uh, and Clemson kind of, you know, depending on who you believe, cut bait and, and took the guy closer to home. So, I mean, you make a good point with, you know, it's kind of like fool me once, you know, shame on you. I mean, this was the third time around with this kid. Yeah. Yeah, and I, and I just I, – I couldn't believe it, you know. It, it, I just couldn't believe what I was watching, to be honest with you. <laughs> and I just keep asking myself, like I said, how does Miami get themselves into this situation? Well, so they, they, have, they didn't get a commit today. They haven't got one this month. They did, they did, close, they did get uh, Jalen Harrell and Jalen Knight and two guys that they really wanted uh, at the end of last month, and they, they've got 19 guys in the class. How do, the, how do things shape up here going forward? I know they were active in the portal last year. Do you see them doing that again? Do you see them targeting a few people and maybe signing a couple more guys in February? I do. I, I think that they'll, they'll take a look and see who, who did not sign today, and there are several good good players i think that did not sign today um they've been doing a decent job with darnell washington i I know that at the end of the day it's got to be a long shot that he's much more likely to go to a place like georgia um than than miami but they're hanging in there and supposedly you're in the final two or three there um xavier henderson didn't sign today at miami columbus the wide receiver and i I found that a little bit strange You, you know his brother is leaving florida and he doesn't really know where he wants to go. And I, I'm sure Miami's going to you know, try to put a big effort in there. And I think they'll be active looking at the transfer portal again and look for you know, two, three, four, five guys that they can nab out of the transfer portal that might be able to help them immediately next year. All right, Gary. Hey, we really appreciate it, man. We love the live stream. We love talking to you. And uh, Miami fans, get to canesport.com. Gary's going to be all over everything that's happening today and, more importantly, going forward over the next month. So thanks a lot, Gary. All righty, guys. Thank you. Thank you, Carl. You do too. Thanks. All right. Stay locked into Rivals.com for continuing coverage of National Signing Day.